Discourse analysis is more of an umbrella term that is used for a variety of approaches and types of research with a focus on an analysis of language used in a social and political context. In this brief presentation, we will discuss the main approaches to and types of discourse analysis. So first of all, um, discourse analysis generally in a broader sense is an examination of the discourse. And that actually means the, an examination of the verbal communication or the use of language as a socio-cultural, socio-political practice by a group of people in a particular context or in a particular uh, culture. The philosophy behind discourse analysis is that language is something that shapes and is shaped by the social context or social relationship um, in which the language is used. The scope of, um, is, as I said in the beginning, it's a discourse analysis is an umbrella term. So its scope varies across uh, different fields of social life, uh, such as in the field of education, so educational discourse, medical discourse, when we are analyzing discourse in the medical field or related to the medical profession, political discourse, gender discourse, and so on. Now, there are generally two main approaches to discourse analysis. The first one is called language in use approach or descriptive approach. The focus of this type of approach, this approach to discourse analysis is on an analysis of the structural and or linguistic aspects of language. So how the language is used, what is the structure of language, what type of vocabulary is used, in what ways vocabulary is used. Um, these are the questions around which this approach to, descript, uh, to discourse analysis revolves. The second one is critical discourse analysis. Um, here the analysis is actually focused on power relationship or political context of the language used. So what is the political context of the language that is used? Um, how is power represented through the use of language? Or how is power manipulated or established um, through the use of language? This is the focus of critical discourse analysis. So besides these two main approaches to critical uh, to discourse analysis, the descriptive approach and the critical discourse um, approach, there are certain uh, types of discourse analysis that have been identified as well. Generally, these types of, di of discourse analysis fall either in the descriptive or in the critical discourse analysis approaches. So the first one, for example, is conversation discourse analysis. Um, similarly, ethnographic discourse analysis, historical discourse analysis, feminist discourse analysis, multimodal discourse analysis, and critical discourse analysis. Now, a brief uh, introduction to these different types of discourse analysis. The first one, conversation discourse analysis, generally falls in the descriptive approach to discourse analysis. And here, the focus of the analysis is basically uh, on an analysis of the conversational interaction, or that is the discussion or interviews. So generally, the how of the language used, or what type of language is used, what type of vocabulary is used, uh, what is the structure of the particular discourse, these are the questions that are responded to in the conversation, especially in a conversational uh, type of discourses. The second one is ethnographic discourse analysis. So as the very name suggests, ethnographic researches are generally researches that are focused on social and cultural aspects um, of the society. So analysis, especially of language in a, in a social or cultural context, um, especially the use of language in group uh, dynamics is something that comes under the fold of 
ethnographic discourse analysis. Generally, such studies extend over a period of time, and so there is there are elements of observations and uh, participation in the in the social discourses or social interaction where there is use of language. Um, so the next one is historical discourse analysis. So again, as the name suggests, um, here again the focus is on the use of language, but the, the use of language um, over a period of time or how language has evolved over a period of time. So the use and uh, evolution of the use of language over an extended period of time or in a historical sense across eras of history is something that comes in the historical discourse analysis. So for example, um, if we take the political historical discourse analysis, what type of language, what power dynamics have been represented, what vocabulary evolution has taken place over a period of time, for example, in a particular uh, political context or in, a, in the political context of a particular political system of a particular country, for example, uh, keeping in view the historical, the ways, for example, one way could be an analysis of the, uh, the political agendas or the political speeches of politicians over a period of, or an extended period of time. Um, similarly, the next uh, type is multimodal discourse analysis, where the analysis of a variety of, mode of modes of communication. So beside text-based communication, there is, there is uh, use of other types of communications uh, analysis, for example, audio and visual. So you can say it's a form of triangulation uh, where there is multi-modes of, of uh, communications are analyzed in this type of uh, discourse analysis. And then the last two actually fall in the critical discourse analysis type, the feminist discourse analysis, where the focus is on the ways and means of gender construction and representation, uh, particularly uh, where the researchers are actually looking for possible discriminations on the basis of gender or gender stereotyping in language use and communication. So this belongs to the critical discourse analysis approach mainly because of issues that, that relate to, uh, to social justice and to inclusion or exclusion. So as a result, uh, the, with the focus on discrimination, especially discrimination against the, the female gender in terms of their inclusion or exclusion in the social or political or economic discourses. And the last one, the critical discourse analysis, is something where the analysis is focused on the role of language in the construction, the identification, the representation, and maintenance of power, um, and its dynamics and its possible abuses, uh, uh, especially through the use of language. So again, critical discourse analysis uh, has something to do with the power dynamics and the use of language, the use of discourse um, uh, in perpetuating uh, power or in uh, resisting power structures. So we can, you, you, we can say that at the higher analytical political level, the discourse analysis is focused on uh, exploring, identifying, and analyzing power dynamics uh, through the use of language. Uh, and so that is why this is called critical discourse. And this type of analysis is called critical discourse analysis.